comment down below so that you can be eligible for cash giveaways. Uh, the algorithm will choose you at random and we need to have you in the comments down below. Otherwise, if we don't know who you are, we can't give you away. Uh, not give you away. We don't give you away, but we do give away <laughs> to those that are eligible uh, some cash. So comment down below if you want a chance at the cash. Hit the notification bell somewhere over there and subscribe if you haven't already. More to come. <laughs> Seeing hidden profits in entrepreneurship is very important. A lot of people miss it. And uh, when I woke up this morning, I think I was awake maybe about 10 minutes, I took a look at my phone and I noticed that Facebook finally announced something that they've been up to for a while and talk about hidden profits. I mean, this is a huge thing. And the reason I'm talking about it, the reason it pertains to affiliate marketing or your SMMA agency is everything is about, it's a, about a way of thinking. That's how everything starts. And then... After that way of thinking, it's about implementation. Uh, you need to have those skills, the proper thinking and the proper implementation in order to make serious money. So I just want to talk about this. Uh, so Facebook finally confirmed that it'll launch its own cryptocurrency. It's interesting. It's not really a cryptocurrency. It's more of a different way of defining gift cards and giving gift cards more options than they currently have and I'll I'll get into that more in a little bit and I think you'll see it the same too so taking a closer look however it's clear that Facebook's new online payment system is an unlikely threat to the world's leading decentralized digital currency so there's the first clue it's a different story for banks fintech and payment processors however on June 4th Facebook's head of financial services and payment partnership Northern Europe Laura McCracken told Wurzcraft's Watch, or WAC, it's not, probably not pronounced WAC, that the company will release the white paper for its digital currency on June 18th. I think that was yesterday. It was. McCracken also stated that the company's global coin will be a stable coin, but will not be pegged against the U.S. dollar as previously assumed. Instead, the digital currency is going to derive its value from a basket of fiat currencies. That's interesting. The information reported that Facebook's digital currency will enable users to send money to each other via Messenger and WhatsApp and make purchases at a range of retailers that Facebook has been in discussions with for some time. So, when you're able to take something that's in the news, and obviously it helps to be a huge company, but the, the point here is the concept. People that use Facebook being able to trade currency with each other, but yet they're not really calling it something that could compete or replace Bitcoin because it's not going to have the same structures. So to me, that's like having a different name for a gift card that you and I could trade on Facebook, have some other merchants join and, and accept that type of commerce and have that gift card, which is really called not a gift card do more um, than your average gift card could ever do and it's in a you know more exciting packaging and the way that they're articulating the way that they're describing it which is also very helpful to build trust in the new digital payment system the social media giant has been engaging financial institutions and technology companies to join a foundation that will be tasked with governing the digital currency to appease financial regulators now what I see happening here is this is going to be difficult, but usually when big companies, when there's big dollars involved, even other big companies that are supposed to put some type of code of ethics into here are going to go against their better judgment. And this, in my opinion, is happening too soon. So it's a bit of a mistake because the privacy issues that they've been having and you know, this often happens again when there's a lot of money because companies are willing to lose uh, many millions because they're many millions and, you know, in this case, uh, uh, have made billions in, in profits. Um, they're willing to have the boat take on some water because the boat is so big that they're not really too concerned with that. But I think if they waited uh, a year and bigger companies don't know and don't get me wrong I'm not bashing Facebook I think they have a overall a good platform uh, and I use it so 
I think overall what's happening here is they're kind of rushing to get to where they want to go um, before others kind of do the same thing. And I think it's a little premature and it's an execution error and maybe a PR error they should wait because I think you're going to see the news hammering them hard and this is going to give them more negative PR in terms of the privacy issue and not that I think that this may be such a, a, a big privacy issue more than it's already been but I think the media may spin it a certain way even though this is a bit detached from being very problematic a lot of people have already used their their financial information on Facebook anyways and this isn't really something that's diving deeper into the privacy than they are already into with existing records and data that they have so I think it's more of a PR snafu mistake um, than it is an execution mistake so I'll take that back a, a, a little bit. I'm a bit torn myself. I think you can call it partially a bit of an execution boo-boo and uh, execution mistakes really can be PR mistakes too. So that's my final on that one. So the initial rollout, which is scheduled for 2020. Oh, okay. So they're still waiting about a year. Okay. So that's different. I didn't read the whole article before doing this. I'm kind of doing this off the cuff. So, okay, that's, that's better. We'll take place in a number of emerging markets where the company plans to market its new digital currency aggressively. Facebook also plans to install physical ATMs. That's a great idea to enable users to exchange the digital currency for fiat currency and vice versa. Now, what this is going to do is, and again, I, I don't know how much of an actual cryptocurrency it's going to be. I don't think it's going to be, but it's going to help people probably bridge the gap and adapt and be more accepting. Um, you know, the people that are already maybe aren't so accepting because they're just familiar with uh, Facebook. So if they trust Facebook, it's going to help the industry even though it's not a hardcore um, cryptocurrency and more of a gift card, in my opinion, with different packaging. But anyway, the initial rollout, which is scheduled for 2020, will take place in a number of emerging markets. Okay, we did that as Facebook's global coin, a cryptocurrency. <clears throat> Bitcoin advocate Andreas Antonopoulos stated in an online Q&A, what Facebook is proposing is not a cryptocurrency. It doesn't have any of the fundamental characteristics of a cryptocurrency. A cryptocurrency, they use the word a lot, by the way, by definition, is open, public, immutable, neutral, borderless, censorship resistant, and decentralized. Facebook's currency is a centralized Facebook's currency is centralized and will not meet these criteria. Hence, it should not be considered a cryptocurrency. Facebook's digital currency will be under close scrutiny by financial regulators and will have to adhere to strict AML KYC requirements in each country it operates. It will therefore not be censorship resistant. Aside from the legal and regulatory aspects of running a payment system, Facebook's track record of censorship of content also uh, will also likely roll over to censorship of its planned payments service. Well, everyone really censors their payment platforms, whether it's a currency, whether it's it's uh, cryptocurrency in the sense that, uh, to me, censorship means that there's some control. And there is some control, even though, uh, even looking at Bitcoin, the control is how it's used because it's presented in a certain way to be used a certain way and there's certain things like the blockchain that are <laughs> that it's rooted in so that is a form of control um, however it's not really a privacy control in the sense that an invasion of privacy control rather with Bitcoin because you can you know be anonymous if you choose to in terms of how you use it so but that's a whole other thing additionally Facebook's aim to make its payment service borderless will be impossible because as a regulated payment service the US company will not be able to serve customers on the US sanctioned countries list interesting this is huge for them for them to be a payment service basically a glorified gift card exchange payment service and once they start providing people different ways to buy their it's also like a pay-as-you-go card system right because if you pay put money onto a card and then use this platform to pay your bills and other things they're basically going into the land of bank and bridging it with um, a gift card packaged in a different way Facebook's is how it's starting it and really on the lip of, of crypto and the crypto craze so it's very smart Facebook's currency will also not be public um, okay 
as the company will likely sell user payment data to third parties that it is, as it has done with personal data on its social network. So this is the lead in for trouble in my opinion, like I was talking about earlier. Even if they wanted to make their payments public, <coughs> excuse me, they would not be able to for legal and regulatory reasons as they will have to adhere to strict financial privacy laws as a money transmitter. Finally, Facebook's currency will not be open. The multinational company will always play a role in each transaction and it is likely that the coin will not be able to be used outside of the Facebook ecosystem due to the centralized nature of this digital currency revenue. You know, another thing that it does, <coughs> even if it's used for Facebook Marketplace and, and transactions only within to start, it's going to give them another end for targeted marketing for advertising because they'll be seeing in a different way specifically how people spend their money. Since Facebook's global coin is not a real cryptocurrency, it cannot be considered a threat to Bitcoin, while the coin will likely see a much larger user uptake. Bitcoin will in many ways remain the superior digital currency because it enables users to make censorship resistant fast borderless payments, said better than I did earlier, <laughs> without the need for a bank account or ID verification. You know, it's interesting how they keep trying to on the sly compare it to um, crypto and use that angle even though they're saying it's not crypto and it's almost this is almost like a, a an incentivized article that Facebook paid for to have written I think additionally Facebook's digital currency will be a stable coin so it will not attract investors traders and speculators who have been among the main Bitcoin buyers in the past decade um, okay it's fine Let's close up my inbox. Additionally, Facebook's currency will be a stable coin, so it will not attract investors, traders, speculators. Okay, let's see what else here. How long does this thing go on for? Oh, we're almost done. Okay. PayPal mobile banking apps and banks should be worried. Yeah, they should be worried. While Facebook's digital currency is unlikely to become a threat to Bitcoin, online payment pro providers such as PayPal, fintech banks, and traditional banks should be concerned. Yeah, they should. Excuse me, Facebook has up to 2 billion active monthly users, which means 2 billion people will eventually be able to use the social media network's native payment system to allow low-cost digital payments without the need for a bank account. This will directly affect the go-to online payment services such as PayPal. Stri eventually it will if they do it right for sure. And uh, if you want to go here, guys, that's it's uh, an article written on uh, bravenewcoin.com, which we're not affiliated with. I just simply did this for the use of... Um, being able to talk about this a little bit and really you know to sum it up yes they're a big huge monster company you're saying to yourself and you can't do that well it's about the principles it's about the the thinking process like I've been saying so every business as long as you have some existing clientele and you didn't just you know start now misses hidden opportunities to generate revenue within and what we do with our agency a lot of the time with existing customers and with social media marketing even or customers that we take on or brand new ones is we help them to zoom in and you would be surprised there's tens of thousands sometimes hundreds of thousands or millions in hidden revenue right within your existing business so even if you just have a dozen or a couple dozen clients take some time to work on your business instead of in sometimes especially as a, a new business owner if you're novice um, or not even novice but you're you know your business runs well and you're you're doing okay and you're generating fifty thousand a hundred thousand uh, a couple hundred thousand a year in profit don't get trapped on working in your business you need to be able to work on your business which means that you're looking you know from up high <laughs> not working on tasks but just looking at what's going on and zooming in and seeing what things could you perhaps be missing that you could turn into extra revenue within your existing client base so that's it thanks for watching remember to like the video subscribe if you haven't already so you can be notified hit the notification bell so when we give away cash if you're chosen you'll actually know about it because that bell will go off have a great day